Ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. We have made it through 18 episodes. Wait, we have made it through 17 episodes and oh my gosh, I am ready for this series or this season to end. Oh my gosh, this is the final. This, this is the finale of season one and I cannot wait. I am all dressed up. I am sweating already and I haven't even started yet. So I'm going to take off this waistcoat. Guys, seriously, my Gravity Falls videos have been getting a huge amount of support and I genuinely wouldn't, I don't know if I would have continued the series without you, to be honest. Um, I probably would have, uh, <laughs> but the fact that I've had lots of people watching and commenting and interacting with my reactions and enjoying my reactions, that's made me want to continue with this series. So thank you ever so much for all the support on this series. Anyway, regardless of that, we are going to watch episode 18, 19, and 20 today. I've heard 19 is the big one, so I'm ready for 19, but we've got to get through 18 first, because you know, continuity. So I say, let's just get straight into it. Season one, episode number 18. Two things, as, as, as I always say at the beginning of these reactions, apologies for saying it every time, but if you want to see the uncut versions of these reactions, you can always go to my uh, membership page down below and all my reactions are there. And secondly, no spoilers. <laughs> Even though this is the finale of season one, we still have loads of shorts to get through, a whole other season to get through, loads of books to get through. We're going to be doing it all, so, uh, assuming that I have your support with that. And so please, please, please don't spoil. Don't tell me the answers to questions that I ask in this episode. Thank you so much for watching. And let's get into Episode number 18, The Land Before Swine. The time we spend together is treasure enough. Are they gonna kiss? When are they gonna kiss? Is that a dinosaur? We did see a dinosaur in the time traveling episode. Is that not like the big bat creature that uh, flew away in the Boss Mabel episode? Or oh, it's probably like a dragon. It's crazy. Waddles, we have the whole house to ourselves. What do you think? Dance party? <laughs> I love Waddles so much. And Maple, of course, but Waddles even more. <laughs> they're, they're so alike. Maybe that should be her real boyfriend. Forget the mermans, forget the vampires, forget the zombie kids that aren't even zombies, they're gnomes. Pigs are where it's at. What else can I tell you a secret? You're my favorite pig in the whole world. <laughs> oh, that was really adorable. And nothing can go wrong. Okay. High five. This is the Gravity Falls content I like. Not the weird boy band stuff. <laughs> Promise me you won't let him outside. Fine, yeah, yeah, I promise. He's gonna go outside. And here, ladies and gentlemen, is our final exhibit, the most hideous creatures known to man. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what the? <laughs> oh. If camera B got the wing, then the one that should have got the rest is camera C. The creature. Oh, that's one of the photos in the intro. I think. Just ten minutes without this pig in the house. Is that so much to ask? There's predators. Oh, brother. Oh no. Oh no. Maybe we're gonna be mad. <laughs> this giant. Um, uh, Piece it together, Mabel. What happened? Well, see, uh, when the, uh, pig got eaten by a pterodactyl. The good news is you're getting a puppy. So there I was, in the living room. Tenderly nursing him with only the richest of creams. <laughs> <laughs> T 
pterodactyl. Oh my god! <laughs> Bit too much, Grunkle. This is cool, this is a cool setup for an episode. It's definitely improving since the last video, I think. When this enormous wingly critter stole my musical spoons and flew lickety split into the abandoned mines down yonder. Lickety split! <laughs> Need someone to tag along and tell weird personal stories? No thanks. <laughs> Oh my god. You can't take a hint, can you? You know what? I'm convinced he's the author now, actually. He seems to have a bigger purpose. Or some secret behind him, old man McGucket I'm talking about. He's always around in the weirdest places. I don't think he's crazy. Oh, we're here! We saw this in the time travel episode. We saw that shot. I'm telling you. So it was in the future. Oh, crazy. Again, the foreshadowing in the show is amazing. We've seen pictures of dinosaurs. We saw it in the time traveling episode. <laughs> what are we doing? See, he, he knows things. Maybe he is a bit crazy. Oh, Mabel. <laughs> oh, that's so cute. I get the cute shivers. Baby pterodactyl? Aww. Well, welcome to the world, little <laughs> um, <laughs> um He's dead. He's definitely dead. Well He's gonna punch the thing in the eye. Flying devil, come and get me! Go on. Pterodactyl's eyes are so far apart that if you stand right in front of it, you can't That's see you. That's so funny. It's kind of smart. Uh, uh. Although, it can just turn its head. Oh. Oh, there is a blind spot. It's working. <laughs> That's so stupid, I'm sorry. Yeah? It's funny, he, he, he's got it in him. It kind of makes you question... Who he really is. Like, do not trust Stan. Okay then. Lovely day at the church. Oh no. Oh. I ate my way through a dinosaur! <laughs> okay. Tough luck, sucker. Waddles was bluffing. What? I had four aces! That pig is a wizard. How do you have four aces? Okay, cool episode. I liked that. Um, it, I, as I say, I think um, that was definitely better than the last three episodes that we watched last time. Um, I think it, it went back into it, back into the like original Gravity Falls spirit. I think, and also we had the cool callback cool or the call cool forward with the time travel thing. Um, so basically, Blendin' Blandin' in episode number... I, I've lost count of episodes at this point. But um, it was the episode, uh, The Time Traveler's Pig. Um, we heard that, or we saw Blendin' blend in to that scenery. So that was cool. That was a cool, um, cool to the future. Um, so I like that. I like that. I like that. Uh, I think let's look at the code. I saw that there was a load of one number, so I think it's going to be someone screaming. But let's have a look. All right, there's the code right there. As I say, a lot of nines, and I think nine is J. No, 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 no. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I. It's I. I thought ten was I. 
Never mind. Uh, yeah, anyway, so it's going to be a lot of H's. I's. It's going to be a lot of I's? It's going to be a lot of I's? What? Okay, let's, ha let's have a look. Nine, twenty, twenty-three, fifteen, eighteen, eleven, nineteen. It works. Six, fifteen, eighteen. It works for pig pigs. It works for pigs. Oh, the advert. Okay, the advert with the the like the baby carrier. It works for pigs. There you go. Very cool, very short code. Uh, well, not short, it was quite long, but there was a lot of the same letter. What I mean by very short code is like, cool, we got it done, there we go, solved, next episode. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, cool, it works for pigs. And that one is solved. Great, so we still, we just have three that are unsolved at the moment, and we'll go through those in a future episode. But now, it is time. So, Here's what I've heard, and I haven't been spoiled for what happens in this episode, and I have no idea what's going to happen in this episode. I've heard episode 19 is a bit crazy. Uh, I, I've heard this is where the real story picks up and it begins. Uh, it like properly gets started. So here's what I'd imagine. I imagine, and here's my prediction, we're going to meet Bill Cipher. I reckon by the end of the episode, we're going to meet Bill Cipher. I don't know how we're going to get to that point because it seems like we're not on the road to doing that. It seems like we're just seeing loads of different mysteries everywhere. So maybe in this episode, it's a lead up to summon Bill Cipher or something like that. And the the episode is episode 19, Dreamscaperers. Don't know what that means, but the fact that there's dream in the title tells me things are going to get a little bit wild. Um... So I think we should just get straight into it. Um, as I've as I've theorized before, I think that the intro screen, the wheel, like the astrology wheel, zodiac kind of wheel, I think that that is almost a summoning circle. And I think that all of those symbols in that wheel are different characters. And in order to summon Bill Cipher, you need all those characters together. Don't think that's going to happen, especially because Robbie has now uh, been broken up with from Wendy. So we're not going to be able to see Robbie there. Uh, also, there's two characters with uh, that look like Stan, but uh, we don't know if they're both Stan. And the same thing with Mabel, although I'm now thinking that one of them could be Waddles. Don't know. I think we should just get straight into episode 19, Dreamscapers. Whew. Battleships. B5. Miss! What? <laughs> Little Gideon. Ugh, Gideon. Remember when I went date him and he tried to destroy us? Yep. Little Gideon's tent of telepathy. Opening soon at this location. The only way Gideon's taken over the shack is by breaking in and stealing my deed. You mean like right now? Oh no. Okay. Oh no, not the broom! <laughs> <laughs> He's such an idiot. I don't think I've ever hated a character in television more. That's how good this show is at making me hate Gideon. Combo to this safe is in the one place I'll never find it. My brain. But he has psychic powers. He has psychic powers, does he not? Your brain isn't as safe as you might think, Stanford Pie. <gasps> this is the last straw. It's time to unlock the journal's greatest secret. Oh! Yes! <laughs> I am pumped. I am so pumped. I'm so hyped right now. We just saw Bill Cipher, like a zoom in of Bill Cipher from the intro screen. I'm. Come on. Oh, my head. Safe in your mind, Stanford? We'll see what my new minion has to say about Ooh, that. Oh, more matrices. Eyes on the trees. I need to analyze that book again. 
whole episode on that. <laughs> it is like a demon or a god. <gasps> oh my god! Oh, gravity falls. It is good to be back. Name's Bill Cipher. That was not the voice I was thinking. I know lots of things. Lots of things. Gonna need to slow it down. <clears throat> so he is like a god. Is he the writer of the story, maybe? Stan Pines. He knows him. You know what, kid? You've convinced me. I'm sold. Blue flame. Gideon had blue flame. I wonder what chemical in alchemy produces a blue flame. I can't think of it off the top of my head. It's not zinc, is it? I feel like I've seen something like this before in the journal. Beware Bill, the most powerful- Caesar at bash A1Z26. I saw a projection. It is possible to follow the demon into a person's mind and prevent his chaos. It's a demon. We're about to journey into the most horrifying, disturbing place any of us have ever been. Our uncle's mind. <laughs> Wait. We're about to go in his mind? Is it going to be like Bowser's inside story? <laughs> oh, what the... Oh, how cool! The codes that I need to decipher. Oh my gosh, this is going to take ages to go through. You leave our uncle's brain alone, you isosceles monster! Isosceles monster? <laughs> I think he's equal actual, is he not? Question mark, shooting star, pine tree. I had a hunch I might bump into you. Question mark. Shooting star pine tree. I can hear it's the same voice actor as Stan. Which I'm assuming is Alex Hirsch. Whoa, where are we, bro? We must be in heaven. Cause I just saw an angel. Oh, it's the two guys from the hamster ball thing in the car. But they exist because it's in the mind of Stan. That's cool that's a cool detail. Oh, this is so cool. The bat? Fears, hopes, memories. Whoa, look! Oh, Stan's memories! Okay, yeah, he's got the lawsuit things. Jorge, Rico, you're the two best Colombian prison friends. Oh my god, he did actually go to prison in Colombia. Stand back! It sucks more than anything. <laughs> <laughs> work on that. Whoa, Lazy Susan State. Weird. Let's let's talk about that. <laughs> Non-specific excuse. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. There's well, the creativity the about me. all behind here. That uh, doesn't seem like a good idea. I just want to know what the old guy really thinks of me. No but. Now go chop that firewood already. Ah. Look, Seuss, I'm gonna let you in on something. You want to know what I really think? The kid's a loser. He's weak. He's an utter embarrassment. I just want to get rid of him. Oh. Here we go from if episode people one. People knew the truth that hidden behind this vending machine, I secretly have. Seuss, a... <laughs> <laughs> I hate you. 13, 44, and finally... Dude, we found it! Yeah! Wait, maybe I should do it. My big fat arms are great at destroying stuff. Oh. I like how they didn't learn the whole code because then Bill could take it from their minds as well. It's very clever. Guys, I just saw a memory of Stan roller skating and wearing short shorts. Didn't look, didn't look half bad. Hey, something weird's going on here. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> it's funny how dumb you are. <laughs> Why should I save him, huh? I work for Stan day and night, and all he does in return is say he wants to get rid of me. I understand Dipper's opinion on this, but it was best not to know in the first place. It's 13... 44... Ah, no, 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 wait, no! I'm more bottomless than the bottom! <laughs> 
the bottomless pit. You! You can't even imagine what you just cost me! Alchemy symbols. Oh my god! This animation's insane. If this is what the entirety of season two is like, I'm all for it. I just want to get rid of him. <laughs> yeah. Those are all things people said about me when I was a boy. Huh? It was terrible. I was the biggest wimp on the playground. That's why I'm hard on Dipper. To toughen him up. So when the world fights, he fights back. He is quite sweet. <laughs> Whoa, kid, what are you doing here? Nice hole in your chest, by the way. Let's fix that up. Weird. Aww. I almost cried at that, actually. It was very sweet. No, no. Hey, Bill! What? Nice bow tie! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I love it. Look at this, man. It's so sick. This is why there needs to be a, a Gravity Falls video game. Hamster Balls! Oh my god. The references are insane. You know, I'm impressed with you guys. You're a lot more clever than you look. Especially the fat one. He's talking about you. <laughs> I'll be watching you. He'll be watching all those people. Wow. Group hug. No? I never know the right time. <laughs> hey, do you guys feel it? What now? Oh, I'm sorry, Pines family. Did I wake you? No. Oh, no. Don't worry, guys. It's just part of the dream. We're going to wake up any second now. Right? Right? <laughs> ah! Someone pinch me, dude. Yo! We have a to be continued? Oh my god, that's so cool. Also, this rendition. Oh, I love it. Is there gonna be a code? There better be a code. Wow, this seems like a lot more serious than the other episodes. It, it kind of, it's getting me. It's getting me because up to this point, it's been really like fun and funny. I, I mean, it's still funny, but like a lot of the episodes have just been like there for the lols. Now it, f it really feels serious. Like I can really feel it. There seems to be um, some sort of supernatural force now. And there also seems to be things at stake. And so it, it, I'm loving it. I'm loving it um, because I was loving Gravity Falls before. But the fact that there wasn't really that much of a plot behind it, that was what was kind of not making me love it as much as I'm loving it now. So now it's just, it's great. It's so good. I'm loving Bill. I think he's a great character. I think he has so much potential. And I think the whole idea of like, the fact that he can go in your head and then when you're in someone's head, you can you can make up whatever you want. It, like, it's it's so cool. And it seems like, we were somewhat right about the wheel. Not quite. I think I think the wheel at the beginning, uh, on, in the intro of the episodes, I think that that wheel represents the characters absolutely. I think there might be characters that we're missing, but we might be introduced to them in season two. But I actually think that they are characters that he watches over. I don't know why that would be written in a book. And I don't know why these are the characters specifically that he watches over. Um, especially like Robbie. Like why would he watch over Robbie when Robbie isn't even part of the Pines family. And he doesn't work at the shack. He's literally just a Wendy's friend. So it's, it's weird. It's weird in that regard. But um, I think that that was awesome. Obviously favourite episode so far. Uh... The amount of creativity you can have with this series now, going forward, I I don't even know where it's going to go next. I don't. It said to be continued. I don't know where this is going to go in the next episode, uh, but we're going to find out. 
And as I say, season two, so much potential right now, like especially if we're gonna keep seeing Bill. Oh my gosh, uh, season two is gonna be wild. Let's have a look at the code. Okay guys, we have the code written down and it's really funny. I'm gonna show you right here. Um, I, I haven't done anything else to this spreadsheet since we, we did it for last episode. I can tell you what this says already. Um, I see the, the dot 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 at the end and I see two words uh, that are two letters long and I see the second word is B and then E. So it's gonna be to be continued dot dot dot, 100%. Uh, I can prove that to you right now. T is definitely a 20. O is definitely a 15 because it's two after M, which is 13, which is halfway through the alphabet. And then at the end we have E and D. It's it's to be continued. It has to be, um, which obviously fits in, um, which obviously fits in with the the ending screen, which I'll show you here. Like obviously, uh, it it says to be continued, so it would make sense for that to be to to be continued as well. So yeah, as I say, it seems to be a lot more serious because the code we just got. Like it's not a funny little code or anything. It's 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 literally just to be continued. Like it's it's straight to the point. So that's interesting. So I'm 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 wondering where this is gonna go. And I don't really have to wonder any longer because episode 20 is here. This is the final episode of season one. This is the sixth episode I am watching today. Crazy, by the way. And this one is called Gideon Rises. Oh no, it's gonna end on a cliffhanger or it's gonna end badly, which is gonna set up season two, I reckon. Anyway, let's have a look. We're back here. Oh cool, I love how this is paralleling the start of the last episode. Cool. I just had a horrible dream that Gideon stole the deed to the mystery shack and kicked us out and we all had to move in with Seuss's grandma. That was no dream, dude. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, if that was a dream. Don't worry, Dipper. Looks like Mabel's gonna have to be the hero of the family now. I'll defeat Gideon with my grappling up. <laughs> From episode one. Please come back at the end. All right, last time for season one. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it. We haven't seen UFOs. We haven't seen this alien thing that's underwater. There's so many things that we haven't seen yet and I'm assuming it's gonna be season two. Gideon Land. That's actually quite cool. If I didn't hate Gideon, that would be that would be cool. Well, Gideon Jr. Boom, made the pick. <laughs> Waddles, you monster! All right, that's it. Okay, that is where we draw the line. You're leaving town, but we need you here. Yeah, especially Dipper because of his giant crush on you. Eucalyptus trees. <laughs> the kid loves eucalyptus trees. <laughs> Don't look now. Take me back, Wendy! <laughs> <laughs> keep holding this boombox forever! I was never here. Have you been getting my texts? Do I need to send you more texts? Wendy! That was really funny. I cannot feed such a big family. Where will we stay, oh. Where, where will I put all my sweaters? Oh. This is so tragic. When did this get so sad? Don't worry, your son and daughter are fine. What? I'm uh, sure we got... Plenty to eat. Relax. If I thought I couldn't take care of these kids, I'd send them back right away. Uh huh. You too. Uncle Stan, can we order pizza? <laughs> this episode might finally make me cry. Back to your corner. Oh, Waddles, be the hero, please. Oh, Waddles. <laughs> no. Journal one, one does exist. Codes and maps have led me to believe the other books buried somewhere on this very property. I intend to find it. Oh. But does he not know that Dipper has number three? 
That actually makes a lot of sense now, actually. <clears throat> Kids, we gotta talk. Look, I've been thinking and I can't take care of you anymore. I don't have a house or, or a job. The plan is, you're going home. Look, I lost, okay? The best thing is for you to be with your parents. I'm sorry, kids. Gideon won. Summer's over. Mr. Pines, come back! Reconsider! That's enough. If Stan won't get our home back from Gideon, then we'll have to do it ourselves. If they went any further than that, I would have let out more than one tear. Butternut squash with a human face and emotions? Yeah! Nope. Whoa, what's That's that? gonna pop up at some point, and it's gonna be horrifying. Out. It seems like a blueprint to build some kind of strange, futuristic super weapon. Boring! So we need some kind of army. Goblins. Uh, not goblins. Gnomes. gnomes. Yeah. Ah. Oh, cool! Sick. This is normal for gnomes. Scrub, scrub. That's... So weird. Hey, Shmebulok, get my cologne! Shmebulok! Yes! Shmebulok! My favorite character. Shmebulok. Shmebulok. Waiter. The diner, cool. Loving this episode so far. So many callbacks. Zeus, what are you doing here? Since the mystery shack shut down, I've had to take a bunch of part time jobs. Grave digger, bus driver. <laughs> Grave digger. <laughs> yes! Yes, I love this. Just kill him. Surrounded by an unstoppable gnome army. Okay, Gobblewonka. Gobblewonka next. Get the Gobblewonka. You had it the whole time! And a thing oh, I've just clocked what happened. I was talking about the bloody Gobblewonka. Precious book. Give it back, or I'll... Or you what, boy? You what? Huh? Huh? No muscles, no brains. Face it, you're nothing without this. Oh, you're getting beheaded, man. You're getting freaking beheaded. There's gotta be something we can do. What can we do? Find journal number one is what you have to do. Oh no. Sorry, oh. Kids. It's for the best. I'm an ugly crier, don't judge. That was so sad. I have <laughs> journal number three. There are three of them. Oh, right. He wouldn't have known there was a third. Oh my God. Okay, so it's a bit like Eggman's machine in Sonic, in the Sonic movie. I got a good feeling about that kid. That man is so good at building machines. Why are you always one step ahead? Maybe How is really Grunkle is making me cry? Ah, my hearing aid. What keeps causing that? Hey, Dipper, wanna play bus seat treasure hunt? I'm not in the mood. Gum that's shaped like Ronald Reagan's head. Ooh, miscellaneous fluid stain. Giant robot! Yeah, giant robot. Wait, what? Look! Oh! I command you to hold! Ah! That's so Is cool. Us? Oh, hey, dudes. So That's one of the funniest jokes in the show. Face it, kid. You're nothing without that journal. How's he gonna find yeah, he's got to do something without the journal here. No brains. What can he do? What are you gonna do? Let go of my sister. That was sick. Yes! Yes! Punch the shit out of him. I don't care that I just swore. Come on, he's a freaking pig. Yes. Not like Waddles, not not like a Waddles pig, but like a bad pig.
They're so dead. How are they surviving that? Unless Bill Cipher has... Standing ovation. Standing ovation. That was great, by the way. That was really good. How's this for psychic? Bam! Take a good look! Wait a minute. Is that me? The secret ingredient to my coffee omelet is coffee! And me! I can verify that that birthmark is indeed disgusting. <laughs> it's the same doctor. Right? These pins are hidden cameras. And my hearing aid was picking up the feedback. Who's the fraud now? Oh! Just one more thing. <laughs> nice. Me and Mabel have been talking, and I think there's something we should finally tell you. This is a journal I found in the woods. It talks about all the crazy stuff that goes on in Gravity Falls. Gideon nearly destroyed the whole town trying to find it. I don't know what it means or who wrote it. But so he's all, never seen it before. Maybe you should go and call Stan. Glad you showed me this. Tonight. And did they not pick up the second one? <laughs> now I know where you've been getting it all from. <laughs> Ridiculous. Stan, I need it. No, he knows. He knows. You're a hero whether you've got that journal or not. Oh, Mabel's come so far. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. What does he know? What does he do? The music's picking up. I love this. Oh, a picture of Differ and Mabel. After all these years. Finally, we have them all. Oh! <gasps> it is a map. Codes, more codes. I'm gonna have to dissect the hell out of this. It's gonna be like a three hour video. Alchemy, trust no one, don't trust Stan. Secret code just there. Oh my God. That episode, that played with my emotions so much. <laughs> I don't even know where to begin, to be honest. Um, <laughs> I'll begin by getting a tissue, I think. That was crazy. Um, this is the best show on television. This is the best show I've ever seen in my life. I've watched a lot of shows that I have thought are exceptional. Like genuinely untoppable. I think um I think Bojack Horseman, as I've mentioned previously in this in these reactions before, Bojack Horseman, one hundred percent, one of the best shows out there. It's finished now, six seasons. Amazing. It it like wraps up the whole story. It's amazing. Um another one is is very different to all of this, but suits on Netflix. One of the best shows I've ever seen in my life. It's just so witty and everything else in between. Gravity Falls, it tops everything. It's so incredible. That story from start to finish, it, it comes full circle with the grappling hook, with the gnomes, with Gideon, with Bill Cipher appearing in the intro of the first ever episode. It's insane how far we've come. The character developments have been amazing throughout the series. The codes, the code, like the fact that this show is interactive as well, in a way, it's so cool. So 
let me just dissect what we just saw. Um, because, or sorry, let me just like process what we just saw. Because it hasn't processed for me yet. So, in episode number one, um, Dipper found the book under the ground in like a secret tree or whatever. So, my question now is who put that there? Like, was was that just Stan's secret hiding place for book three? I don't know, probably not. Um, but whatever. And then Gideon had book number two. Don't know where he got that from. We don't know. Um, but then we found out that Stan all along had book number one, journal number one. And now that he has all three journals, he's put those pages together. It's like a map or something, as they said. And now he is doing something. And I'm, go I'm guessing we're, we're going to find out in season two. <sighs> Insane. It's really crazy that in that episode, Stan made me feel every single emotion, I think. <laughs> Literally every emotion. Um, but the two key ones there that are basically complete opposites are he made me feel so upset and like so like so melancholic like so sad but happy sad uh well not happy sad but like i felt sad for him and the family etc he he made me cry multiple times during that and it's because of how full circle he's come like we we opened the first episode or we sorry we closed the first episode knowing that grunkle stan isn't as he seems but he seems he, he seems like the nicest guy ever like genuinely he cares about his family and he does have that softer side but in that same last episode, we <laughs> we also saw the opposite of Stan. We saw the side of Stan that cannot be trusted. So it is crazy that in the end, he has the three books. He is the Thanos in this universe. He is going to do something with those three books, and we don't know what it is. Um, so I'm guessing that's what season two is going to be all about. But it's crazy that there's three books in the first place. And it's crazy that Grunkle Stan had the first one all along. Of course he did. How did I not see that coming? Who wrote the books then? Grunkle Stan crossed off the list completely. Uh, definitely not Gideon. Definitely not Dipper, Mabel, Seuss, whatever. Could still be the time traveller, but I feel like... The fact that we've only seen him properly in one episode means he hasn't been properly set up. To be honest, my best bet right now, my best bet is... What's his name? <laughs> I'm just going to call him Old Man Consequences because I've I've completely forgotten what his name is. But the old guy that seems crazy, he can build some crazy technology. He has some weird knowledge. He seems crazy, but I don't think he is actually crazy. Um, there's something about him, man. I think I think he might be the author. Um, unless it's just someone we haven't met yet. But I think they've set up multiple times that we should know the author. And of course, foreshadowing is massive in this show. Anyway, I'm going to stop blabbering on and I'm going to solve the code. And then everything else we saw in Dreamscaperers and this last episode... And of course, other stuff that we've previously missed in this season uh, that I've wanted to go back and talk about. We're going to do all of that in future analysis videos. Um, let me know if you want kind of like two or three analysis videos, or if you just want one big, like two hour analysis video that goes through these last two episodes and stuff that we missed. I would like to do that. Um, but it like it, it, how would you like me to format those videos? Let's go through the code. I do just want to say while we do this, um, I did say in the uh, second to last episode, the penultimate episode of the season, that um, this this seems to be getting a lot more serious, like plot wise. And I can definitely see that now with, um, are you kidding me? This is a different code. Oh no, we're going to need to decipher it another way. Okay, I'll tell you what, that's what we're going to do next video. Next video, we're going to solve all of the codes of season one. Then we're going to go on to Dreamscaperers and have a look at anything that we saw in there that might, uh, like I saw codes on like the, the house and stuff like that. Um, so we're going to go through that and we're going to go through that last episode and see if there's anything else Again, I saw loads of codes and I saw loads of stuff 
in the books. So we're going to need to go through all of that, but that is going to be uh, in my next analysis video. Guys, I have been recording now for three hours straight. Uh, it is now half past midnight. <laughs> And I need to go to work tomorrow, just like I go to work every other day. Um, so I, this was a lot of work and I put in a lot of work in these videos and I burn myself out so much for you guys, but genuinely it's worth it. First of all, it's worth it because watching the show is a genuine delight. It is an absolute treat to be watching this show with you guys. And secondly, you guys are just so supportive in the comments and I, I have all of you to thank for, again, for me continuing this series. Anyway, I will see you very, very soon in some analysis videos. And then after that, we might take like a week break away from Gravity Falls or something. And then we're gonna go through the shorts and then we're gonna get stuck into season two. I think that sounds like a good idea. Let me know in the comments what you think and Man, this was such this is such a good video. <laughs> anyway, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you then. Goodbye.